Hello and welcome to my ISSC 368 IT Security Physical and Peripheral Defense. We're looking at week six. So this is going to be the last section of our main report. So again, look at the final project, look at the deliverables. You're going to be focusing on developing a plan to make employees aware of the workplace crime and violence and strategies to mitigate possible violence crimes. While this was done at week f five and we're really working on week six, you can take the reading from week five and week six to develop this. Remember, this is not the end of your final project. Every two weeks, we've done a section. The last week eight, the last group is going to be focusing on the last bullet points for our project. The best way to handle this is to outline what you're going to be talking about for preventing workplace crime. Give me the highlights, give me the bullet points, organize it in using APA level headers. Give me a brief summary of those highlights. When possible, try to incorporate some support from the literature. Submit that. There are no agreed upon, you know, it has to be eight pages or five pages or this many references. That really isn't how this is done. With these types of projects, you are looking at what is the final project going to be because you're going to be taking what you've done throughout weeks one through six and then putting it together in your final project. So let's go and let's look at the final project so we can see kind of what it all encompasses. All right, so the final project is a little bit odd. So you're being hired as a protection officer for a company that's a larger facility, 900 employees, and at any given time, they can all be working. The organization has come uh, to agree on certain core hours. They work eight to six, period. But workers arrive at the organization as early as 6 a.m. and they can leave as late as 9 p.m. They have three guards that work the core hours. Again, core hours, eight to six. And with that, all the employees have badges that have photos and some type of key card that will let them into the facility. The security guards will open the door and check badges in the event of a card not working, as well as there's no security to prevent users from getting on the grounds. So guards protecting the building, not the grounds. So the front of the organization is a major highway, and the back of the, uh, of the organization is a backing up the back area to acres of undeveloped woods. The company has just been awarded a federal contract, and after the site visit, they were told that they would lose the contract if they do not make their organization a little more physically secure. We're going to be looking at all different areas as the standpoint from the protection officer. We need to have new adequate secure staffing levels and shifts. We need to have an effective plan for increasing communication, plan to arise security awareness within the organization, automate some of the operational plans. We need to have a new patrol plan, a comprehensive security plan, a access control, that's going to be the administrative controls, plan. We have to have things like a fire and other safety and hazard type plan. We need to approach it to prevent and mitigate workplace crime. We also have to have a emergency response plan and a surveillance plan. So all of that's going to go in your final report. It seems like a lot, but it's broken down into the multiple weeks. You just have to do each of the sections each week and then build up to it. You need to use the APA formatting. You can use things like the uh, library as well as other academic support like Google Scholar to support your claims. Again, don't wait until the very end to start this. It will be overwhelming if you do. The big thing is work on this each week. Remember that there are uh, every two weeks there are updates for this. Also, reach out with questions. The big thing here is understanding how to put it together is not as easy as it may seem, so ask questions. Thank you.